Miami and the FBI field office in Miami. Hold on. Hold on, man. I did not know that he had the feds involved with this case right here, man. Is there anything further on this case? Damn, you see how she's talking with so much conviction. They got something on that boy, bro. Damn, I, it's sad, bro, because what's up with the YouTube fam? Man, I'm back in with another video, man. Look, y'all been in my Instagram DM, and y'all been in my comment section on YouTube asking me to speak on this YFN and Lucha situation, and y'all always asking me to speak on different situations that's happening with people, but I told you I'm not a news reporter or a blogger, but I think I'm going to start jumping into that because y'all be really asking for it, bro. So, But anyways, man, scratch all that, man. Where I got this video from, man, is one of my supporters on YouTube. He sent it to me and said that YFN and Lucci went to court today. And he said that, um, I think it was some, he said they got some footage from when the case originally started. Y'all know I don't watch the videos unless I watch it for child. But uh, yeah, we're finna check this out. I'm gonna tell you what I feel about it during the video and after the video. Y'all know YouTube made me talk because of their policies. So if you don't want to hear me talking, all you gotta do is click off this video and find it somewhere else. But to all my supporters that rock with me, let's go ahead and see what happened. Oh yeah. Anything that I say in these videos, bro, is just allegedly. I'm just telling y'all how I feel about it. But anything that they say is actual facts. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm just telling y'all what I feel. So, don't take it like I got some special information when I speak. But uh, let's go ahead and see what happened. Today, the Atlanta Police Homicide Unit is asking for your help. We need to locate 29 year old Rayshawn Bennett. He's wanted in connection with the shooting death of 28 year old James Adams on December 10th, 2020. The incident took place at 978 People Street. Officers responded to a person shot call and located the victim, Mr. James Adams, in the middle of the street with a gunshot wound to the head. A second victim later showed up at the fire station number 14 with a gunshot wound to the abdomen. Both of these stemmed from the same incident. Through an exhaustive investigation, the Atlanta Police Homicide Unit, in conjunction with the Fulton County District Attorney's Office and the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, have identified three individuals wanted in connection with this homicide. Rayshawn Bennett, 29 years old. Rayvon Boyd, 23 years old. Leroy Pitts, 17 years old. He the oldest. A special thanks to the Miami Police Department, the Miami-Dade Police Department, the U.S. Attorney's Office in Miami, and the FBI Field Office in Miami. Hold up, man. Hold up, man. I did not know that he had the feds involved with this case right here, man. Man, he finna have so much hell trying to get through this case, bro. It don't make no sense, bro. Like, when the feds get involved, for those who know what's going on, man, they be having what they they be having whatever they need to convict you. So, me personally, I feel like, shit, they gonna try to hit him with the RICO because they know he didn't actually do it. I don't feel like he did it, you know what I'm saying? And then I seen somewhere else they said that it was his car, he was the driver, something like that. I'm not for sure. But they placed him there. I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put a link or I'm gonna put a picture of what they said right here. But they was basically saying like he was identified some type of way. So shit, it is what it is, man. You already know he's gonna have hell trying to be the case like this. It's gonna cost a lot of money to get out of something like this, bro. And you know, Georgia is a big ass city, so you know, they got cameras everywhere. And that's that's the thing about moving around in your city in certain places, because he probably was at a store in that area. You never know what happened during that day to the point where, you know, they got footages of him in the car, you know, different stuff like that. So it just up, bro, when you got to go through situations like this, bro, uh, due to you being who you are, you know, um, it's best to move, but shit, it's easier said than done. People just can't get up and move when they got all this family and stuff like that right here, you know, all in their city and different things like that. But let's go ahead and finish seeing what happened, bro. Mr. Finley, Mr. Banks, are you waiting to sign the charges or are you waiting to sign the charges? We're waiting. All right, and have you informed your client of the charges against him? We got your honor. I'll point you, know, your honor that there is a series of three warrants to entertain um, one ending. Hold on. And then I, I just got to say this real quick. He got Drew Finley. Bro, this is one of the best lawyers that you that money can buy. You know what I'm saying? So he ain't coming to play. He got a bad lawyer, bro. I'm telling you, man. He got his shit. You never know. I don't know. He might work some magic, bro, with Drew Finley, man. Y'all just watch what I say. But, but you know, it's the Fed. So, you know, we're going to get back into it later on at the end of the video. Let's go ahead and finish, though. In, uh, one four that is felony murder and then one three and one five which is the underlying aggravated assault um there is uh the triggering mechanism obviously is the aggravated assaults on their face one three does not um in any way allege that mr bennett is the perpetrator of aggravated assault or for that matter the party to the crime of aggravated assault um and, 
and therefore making one four felony murder as to that allegation impossible. The same thing with one five. Um, his proximity in a vehicle to someone with a gun is not what establishes aggravated assault. Detailed in the face of the warrant is um, his role specifically in the conduct that gave rise to the aggravated assault and then subsequently the felony murder, which will include him allowing the occupants of his vehicle, him being the driver of the subject vehicle, to actually get out of the vehicle, fire multiple rounds, and then drive off those occupants. Um, so based on what the court has before it in the affidavits for all the warrants, there's, there's more than enough to continue on and define probable cause at this juncture. Mr. Bennett, because of the COVID crisis, I'm not able to tell you when your next court date will be. You will receive notice of your next court date from the jail. Is there anything further on this case from this? Damn, you see how she's talking with so much conviction. They got some on that boy, bro. Damn, I, it's sad, bro, because, like, you never know the circumstances during the day. You know what I'm saying? If he was the aggressor, shit, you know, it is what it is. You got to take what come with it. But, shit, if he was a victim of the situation, bro, it's messed up, bro, for real, because all he had to do was just get away. But it ain't, it's, it's easier said than done, bro. People just can't up and leave. But, man, when the feds involved and the way she talking with all this conviction, bro, they got something on him. And then they want somebody to tell. If they don't tell, they're going to try to hit him with Rico. He the oldest and he got all the money, bro. Y'all already know how, how dirty they is, bro. It don't make no sense, bro to um, be involved in situations when you done made it, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's easy for me to say that, bro, but you never know. You know how life throw your curveballs, bro. But, uh, yeah, man, I ain't got too much shit to say about this, man. It's messed up that he going through all these situations right here, bro. You got to learn You gotta learn how to maneuver when you got this money and don't be involved in nothing that ain't prop making you be that's not benefiting you or nothing like that, man. You got to stay elevated in your mind, stay positive, and stay out the way, man. Because anything else can lead you down these type of roads right here. I hopefully I hope that he didn't do nothing. Like, he was the aggressor, but shit, if he did, it is what it is. It come with the streets, man. He just got to stay solid and keep it moving, man. That's all I got to say about the whole situation, man. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. If you like my commentary, if you don't, I really don't give a fuck. I'll let y'all know the video. All right.